Hello viewers, welcome to the section Mid-Server Essentials. In this section we will learn about Mid-Server Architecture Mid-Server Prerequisites Mid-Server Configuration and Setup Mid-Server Installation and Important Mid-Server Connection Parameters. Now we move on to the video Mid-Server Architecture. In this video we will explore how to set up a mid-server in technical detail and the prerequisites needed. Mid-server plays an important role within ServiceNow as it helps various applications to facilitate data exchange and establish communications between ServiceNow instances and corporate networks. Mid-server is an important plugin within ServiceNow that is utilized by various applications within ServiceNow, not limited to the various integrations which are available in this diagram. Mid-server is Java software that is installed on a compatible server within the corporate network. This makes the communication secure enough to talk to the corporate network by not exposing any security drawbacks. Depending on the type of infrastructure set up, multiple mid-servers are placed within the network. Mid-server is installed behind the company firewall, allowing communication between ServiceNow and the rest of the company network. Next we will move on to mid-server communications. Mid-server communications happen through an external communications channel queue. One way to think about the ECC queue is like an airline check-in kiosk. Mid-servers check each of these kiosks on a regular basis to see if there are any activities that need to be performed. If there is any activity, then mid-server does the job and sends the information back to the ECC queue, which is utilized by the ServiceNow instance to use. ECC queue is an integration point between other systems and the ServiceNow instance. ECC queue is a table in the ServiceNow database that stores messages that are entered through other systems. Messages are classified as output and input messages. Output messages. Messages from the ServiceNow instance to some other system. Input messages. Messages from other systems to the ServiceNow instance. The mid-server subscribes to messages published by the asynchronous message bus, which notifies the mid-server that it has pending tasks in the ECC queue. The mid-server opens a persistent connection to the instance through the AMB and listens on the AMB channel. When an output record is inserted into the queue table, an AMB message is sent to the mid-server's channel. The mid-server receives this message and immediately polls the ECC queue table for work. The mid-server polls the ECC queue on the regular intervals defined in the mid.poll.time configuration parameter regardless of AMB message activity. The default polling interval is set to 40 seconds, but it can be reconfigured. This polling of the ECC queue at a regular interval is done in case the AMB connection is dropped. Now we will see the mid-server use case in an orchestration workflow. In this diagram, we can see how a mid-server is utilized in an orchestration workflow. Mid-server is used to perform an orchestration workflow. We will see some steps that can show how the communication happens from the ECC queue to the mid-server and back to the orchestration workflow. When an orchestration workflow is run, a probe record is created. Mid-server checks the output queue every 15 seconds and receives the probe record from the output queue. Mid-server finds the probe record and it reads through and executes against the specific target system or infrastructure component. Mid-server now returns the response back of the payload from the probe into the input queue. Orchestration Workflow looks at the output queue on the response back from the mid-server and follows the rest of the defined orchestration steps or scripts that need to be executed. Mid-server which is placed in the corporate networks queries every 15 seconds to search for probe records. These parameters of 15 second frequencies can be adjusted to avoid unnecessary traffic in a multiple mid-server deployment scenario. Once the probe records are executed, the results are posted back to the ServiceNow instance. Sensors are processors of the probe records. Sensors decide how to proceed on communicating with a particular infrastructure component. Mid-server makes only outbound calls with no inbound calls made from ServiceNow to the mid-server. Mid-server communications are securely initiated through SOAP on the HTTPS within the enterprise firewall. Unlike how different people talk different languages to communicate, Mid-server uses different probe technologies to communicate with different types of infrastructure components. Some of them include PowerShell, SSH and so on. Next we will cover the detailed prerequisites required to set up Mid-server including any license requirements. Required ServiceNow plugins, Mid-server. External dependency, ability to access networks without any restriction. System requirements, operating system. Windows physical or virtual server with the operating system 2003, 2008 
and 2012 Linux physical or virtual server. System suggested configuration. 4 GB of available RAM with minimum 500 MB of disk space. Role requirements. Mid-server user role. System administration of the server to install the actual mid-server. License requirements, none. Now that we have gone through prerequisites for mid-server, let's now explore in detail step-by-step -step procedures to begin checking the prerequisites. In this video we learned about mid-server architecture. 